Let us pray. As tender as parent to child, O God, so gentle are you to the poor. As high as heaven is above earth, so vast is your love for the world. As far as east is from the west, so far you remove our sin. Remember how we are made, O God. Remember we are dust. Heal our lives. Renew our strength and crown us with your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Amen. We continue to read from Mark's Gospel this evening and to reflect on what it means for us to be in community with one another, with the world, with creation, and with God. So that we might engage the scripture together unhurriedly and prayerfully, I'm reading the scripture passage through three times each evening, each time inviting you to listen for something a little bit different. After each reading, I'll allow you again a few moments to reflect on what you've heard, and if you're gathered with others, perhaps to briefly share your response without the need for giving any explanation. The first time I read the lesson through tonight, listen again for just a word or a short phrase that just stands out to you. From Mark chapter 9. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. This time as I read the passage, I'd like you to listen for a way that God is speaking to you personally. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus.
As I read through the gospel lesson the third time, listen for a way that God is speaking to the community or to the communities to which you belong. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them and his clothes became dazzling white such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they turned around and looked, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. With the whole people of God in Christ Jesus, let us pray for everyone in need here and throughout the world.
Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, 